Hello, my delicious co-creators, Lilu here in Tao Garden in, in, in Thailand. Wow, it's so amazing. The weather is absolutely gorgeous. And so are you, Sola. How are you? Thank you. Look who's talking, goddess. <laughs> so this is two goddess, you know, getting together and speaking about Karsai. This is the, a very special massage here, one of the specialty of the Tao Garden. And it's like this, uh, uh, can we say genital massage? Or This is quite special, but very medical. I would I'd like to call it reproductive genital massage. Yes. Yeah. So where does this come from? Because I know you've been uh, you you have this this I mean this amazing background and but you you you've, you've uh, studied with Mantak Shia yeah. that is teaching Karsai. Originally, people were like, "What it, what are these kind of massages?" But it's actually something quite uh, medical, right? Yeah. Can you explain what it is and how you discovered it? Well, first of all, for those of you who don't know or have never heard of the term karsai, it comes from the Taoist root, it's traditional Chinese medicine, and it's been around in Asia for quite a long time, thousands of years, in fact. But uh, recently, it's getting more recognized in the Western society, in Western cultures, because there's an emphasis now on healing this part of our body, our reproductive area. And so... When you look at it in that perspective, you can see how it can be part of the whole wellness scheme. So if you're on the path of wellness and you're taking care of yourself inside and out, a big part of that has to do with our reproductive organs. Many people have blockages here. It's like the chi is blocking, right? This vital force is locked in because of trauma or what? There are so many um, unconscious, unconscious traumas down here that are so repressed, you know, most of us like to repress this area, we don't talk about it, you know, um, and society is not the norm in the dinner table to talk about our reproductive organs, <laughs> you know? Not yet. <laughs> well, actually, at the Tao Garden, it's not a problem. Tao Garden is quite normal here, because we're always into, you know, talking about improving our health and wellness, so it's quite common here. But... <laughs> Interesting discussions. But uh, in the sense, um, for the general public out there in the world, you know, this area is covered and this area is not well addressed. And um, here in the Dow Gardens, we're sort of, um, we embrace it. And people come all over the world to experience what Karsai is because many people can see so much improvements when they address their reproductive organs and unblock the physical blockages that are all in and around our pelvic area. Mm. And Where are those blockage for men and women? I guess it's different, it's different areas. Yes, it's mostly like, um, you know, we have our ovaries and our uterus, our prostate glands. Uh, for men, it's uh, addressing the healing and opening of their prostate and improving that condition. And for women, it's our uterus and our ovaries. And when we do Karsai, in fact, Karsai is part of what's called Chinate Sung. Mm -hmm. And you've had Chinate Sung here. I love it. I mean, I've tried all these stuff. That's why we're doing this interview, because this is something quite special here. And I'm, I'm definitely aware that this is, this is unique. Uh, but the Chinate Sung, yeah, so this is the massage of the uh, abdominal area or the organs? So Chinate Sung, oftentimes... Um, People in the Western culture, if they can't remember qi sang, I always just say, okay, it's that qi massage, right? Mm -hmm. Qi massage for your abdomen. And it helps to balance out all of your organs, and it helps to release whatever emotions that might be tied into the organs. And it's such a wonderful way to um, incorporate an overall wellness. Mm -hmm. So when you start in the center point and working with the blockages in your organs which includes your reproductive organs, then you can free up many other things that's going on in your body elsewhere. So it's a really good way to bring on a holistic way, a holistic approach mm -hmm. to healing. And so now Karsai is one element of Chi Sang. In fact, when Master Chia teaches Karsai, he actually refers to it as Chi Sang level four. Yeah, so there's many levels of Chi Sang, and Karsai happens to be one of them in the mix. And so, as a Karsai practitioner and Chi Sang practitioner, when you receive this, you can literally unblock the sediments that are deeply embedded inside of our arterial system, our circulatory system, 
When you can unblock this area, then you are, it's like a chain link, of a domino chain link. So when you open this, then you can start to free up other areas of your body mm. that are blocked. And and so that the the this the goal is that this life force the sexual energy flows freely too. But this is not a sexual massage. So 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 guys don't basically ejaculate or women have huge orgasm out of this. This is not that. No, this is not a like erotic type of massage. That and I'm so glad that you're clarifying that because when people think of the term sex, when we're referring to our sexual organs, and they see the word sex in front of the sexual, you know, there's all kinds of associations. But this is actually a medical treatment that can um, can be quite painful at times. Can be quite painful because when you have a, a physical blockage, you know, and you you can feel the tension, and uh, yes, it can be quite painful. But over time, and I don't maybe you've had a few car size and chini sung experiences. Over time, you'll notice that there's less and less pain. There's less and less discomfort in receiving the treatment, and and in fact, uh, it's relaxing. Right yeah, yeah, after yeah. a while, and then some. I think some women have a huge trauma in the vaginal area because of sometimes some women have been raped or had the trauma, and then so the the yoni, the sacred area, is is blocked, huh? and it and it can be very painful. Just one touch, a little pressure, and it's like wouch. Whereas I don't feel much pain because I feel like a lot of the the, the traumatic stuff has gone. So it's 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 actually it's painful at some points, but not much. Absolutely, and little do we know, inside of our reproductive organs, in the vaginal canal, leading up to the uterus, there's acupressure points, there's reflexology points, and you can literally, when we do the carsi, and also when we coach people how to do carsi on yourself, you know, as a home care, self-care practice, you can literally go in and work to release these pressure points. Mm. There's also the anus. We don't speak much about it, but it holds a lot of tension, even more so for men. And this is where you can... There's a whole video, by the way, with Mantak Shia explaining about the prostate gland for men and how to prevent cancer by massaging this area. But this is part of the car sign. Not always. Some do it, some don't. It's kind of special. I mean, there's the whole glove thing, of course. <laughs> Yes, well, we please. have to get into those yeah. details. I mean, we might as well. When you do this kind of work, of course. <laughs> I even tell people, you know, when you do this at the home, please wear gloves. Um, yes, the base is really important because, as you know, in um, in many different healing modalities, there's um, working with the base, working with the anal canal, and working to release the tension there. And so many of us have tension there, you know. Um, and when you can go in and work also the reflex points inside the anus, inside the anal wall, you can release trauma. You can release the hidden emotional charges that are stuck in there from way back when. And, you know, emotions such as shame and guilt, you know, and all of these things, trauma that we just, you know, we like to push back and, you know, hold inside of our bodies. Those can help to be released in this type of work. Yeah. And a very safe and, and um, in a sound way, you know, where you don't feel like, um, you know, this is something uh, sexual. This is more of a healing modality. Mm. So this is part of the, not practices of the Tao, but some kind of maintenance kind of work or something that you would do on a regular basis or it's not needed once it has been done several times and the pain has gone? This is something... Uh, in everything in the Tao philosophy, what we learn in um, the Universal Healing Tao Method is it's part of improving ourselves. It's a continuous process. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, when you get Karsai and Chinik Sang, we do it every day. I mean, I, as a practitioner and, um, and a speaker and educator of this around the world, I teach people how to do this for themselves yeah. every day because you must know how to keep the maintenance flowing. You know, who's going to come to Thailand or other parts of the world and seek, you know, a qualified therapist? And when you do find somebody, it might be once or, tw you know, in a year or, you know, unless you see them in your town or where you live, 
it's hard to um, have a regular session. Yeah. And, and, and please check if that person is certified because there's yeah. been uh, there's been such a big business here going on. I mean, a lot of people come here to the Tao Garden, but then some others do this in Chiang Mai or other places. They're not even uh, a real practitioner. So make sure the person has been trained by Mantak Shia and all this because you want to take that seriously and take the time to really check the background of the person. These are intimate parts. This is definitely not a sexual thing. It's it's for you, for your health and and so there's there's some things to do and have discernment and check the background etc. I'm so glad Lilu that you mentioned that because it's so important that you do find somebody qualified, somebody who can work with you and and create a safe container for you, a nurturance so that you can you can be supported in your healing process. And so many people uh, might call it a karsa or they might call it something um, Even for the Chin Itzang, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, so what you want to do, folks out there, is just to go on the directory of the Healing Tao, and you'll find all the qualified therapists there, and you really um, you know, want to be adamant about seeking somebody that's certified. Yeah. And if you want to meet Sola, she's around Thailand, and you're around Los Angeles, because that's where you live, no? So I'm based in Los Angeles, but I actually travel all over the world, and I teach, and I coach, and I do consulting, and... Um, People can organize even workshops or for you. Or, abso yeah. Absolutely. And, and the thing is, where I was going with this, Lulu, is that um, the home care, the self-care is very important. So let's say that you have experienced Karsai or Chini Sung here at the Dow Gardens with all the qualified therapists here. When you go home, it's really important that you create a self-care system for yourself and you continue the momentum of healing. And I can't stress that enough. Yeah. So this is uh, this is what every day we have to be in contact with the sacred space. Every day, because okay, you know about the jade egg, right? Yeah. Okay. You, what do we tell you guys about the jade egg for women? The jade egg you must do every day, right? So it's like Chinese. And this works. You have to check out the jade egg. Yeah, yeah. we have to talk about. The, <laughs> do we talk about the jade egg in this one, or do you want to yeah, do that? Yeah, you can have a word or two. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Might as well. Now that we brought it up, um, the jade egg practice for women. Uh, First of all, let me say that um, there's particular exercises for men and women in the Universal Healing Tao Method where it improves our sexuality, where it improves our reproductive organs. And in doing so, when we, um, when we start to implement these exercises every day in our life, we start to improve our vitality and our life force, mm -hmm. our chi, mm -hmm. starting from the root starting from our sexual centers and it becomes all encompassing in our um, vitality and it contributes to our longevity and looking and feeling young and vibrant you know That's on, I don't know how old she is but she, uh, she's like ageless at this point some of them are like that here same thing for, for a month like she absolutely and look at you you're getting more beautiful too you know Lily was here last Del year Garden after 10 days <laughs> Um, so, what happens is that um, when you practice these methods, um, it improves your whole well-being. Mm -hmm. So now, jade egg. one of those things is for women is the jade egg. And the jade egg practice is where you embrace a, a jade, a little jade. It looks like the shape of a little quail egg. And you put that in and you have a whole meditative process. Actually, you have to connect with your breasts because there are glands in the breast tissue that are directly linked to the reproductive organs and directly linked to our ovaries and uterus. Actually, and when you pinch it, that I've learned from uh, Mantak Shia, when you pinch the tip, <laughs> that's when you feel your ovaries. Yes, but it's, I really want to keep the integrity of this, um, uh, the integrity of the practice yeah. and the integrity of what it is um, that you're doing. And yes, it seems a little, you know, at first we're not used to massaging our breasts, pinching our nipples, but when we do it in the style that Mantak Chia, Master Mantak Chia, when he teaches us this, is that he's saying, the message is that he's saying, let's go inward, let's go inside of our body, and let's see our organs. Let's connect with our organs, let's have an intimate relationship with our organs. Let's, let's smile to Right, the let's smile to the organs, right? Let's mm. really connect. So when you have this meditative process and you go inward and then you start to br use the breath and massage your nipples and connect the nipples and the glands right into the reproductive organs, 
then you have something going on. There's a circuitry happening right then and there. And then after that, then you go in and then you massage your uterus and you start to contract very gently. It's so meditative that I, this is like a meditation for me every single morning. And, and this is what Mantek called a well-trained vagina. I love it. <laughs> then, guys, you can feel it. A well-trained vagina and a woman too. <laughs> So you have a well-trained vagina. That's that's right. <laughs> How long have you been doing this for? I've been practicing this for quite a bit, and I can't tell you the difference that it's made in everything. I mean, you just light up. You know, we uh, we just came through this uh, retreat, this um, Tao and Tantra meeting of the Masters retreat, and when you see the faces of everyone, all the participants, like before and then after the training, it's quite remarkable. And I, and it's like you know, they're like flowers blooming, you know, and they just come out of their shell and they they start to vibe. They, they're vibrant and mm. glowing. I want to come here every six months. By the way, just FYI, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to come back for my birthday week in August, I think the 17th of August, yeah. until something there is a whole week of return to source or whatever they've called it. But because I want to prepare for following in a year time, in February 2017, every year, there is this yeah. dark room retreat that I also spoke, uh, Mantek Shia, and we spoke together about that. But Uh, for, for every year this happens but I think there's so much to discover here and there's and the blood oxygening the blood I mean these are all stuff that are happening here it's crazy I feel, I feel so alive oh my god you have to come here yeah. this is this is this is really fabulous uh, thing and so the jade egg is one of them the Karsai the Chini song all that is happening here yeah. what else Oh, I mean, we could just go on and on, you know, about all... You help couples, too, back in L.A., no? Are you still doing that? Yes, I do. What's um, happening there? Well, what I do is I call it the sacred love connection. And really, it's about connecting couples and individuals with their heart. And in couple therapy, you know, with each other in a deeper, more um, sacred way, yeah. you know? So a lot of times couples, you know, they might have issues and, and they don't know how to communicate or they don't know the tools in which to... Um, make their intimacy more meaningful and so I coach them on all of that and in the coaching I infuse it with all of these methods of self-healing like the Karsai, Chinate Sang, what to do, how to build their practice of jade egg, how the men could build their practice of sexual energy charging from the reproductive organs, how they can improve their prostate gland, how they can improve their in their libido and so many things. They could go down in a couple yeah. years. <laughs> yeah. So, very cool. What a journey. Yeah, it's quite a journey. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Solan. Thank you for organizing this whole thing here, too, during this whole week. You've been there with the participant, each of them, making sure everything was okay, yeah? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We just had a huge event here, um, over 110 people, you know, and uh, all the participants came through and many of them didn't know about um, Tantra or Tao methods and, and the union of two was quite nice, you know, it was an eye opener for many and many people were here um, because they're um, followers of Master Mantak Chia and Charles Muir and uh, everyone had such an awakening. I would say every one of them came out with, with an awakening about themselves foremost. Mm. Well, and then, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll see you God knows where. Maybe you'll be here, maybe in, in Los Angeles or other parts of the world, maybe in France. Yeah. Thank you for taking the time to do this interview. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Sola. Thank you. Uh, much, much love to you, delicious co-creators from the beautiful Tao Garden. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Much love. Thank you. <laughs>